Hello YouTube, this is MPAN72 bringing you a new video. Now this video is going to be issuing a challenge to the YouTube coin collecting, uh, numismatic, and stacking community. What I would like for you to do is to grab yourself a 20th century US typeset folder, album, uh, card, um, plaque, whatever you'd like, and fill it with what you have on hand and what you'd be willing to leave in the album or folder, whatever you choose. There's a bunch of different types. I have a Littleton here. I grabbed it because it was relatively inexpensive. It was only a few dollars, I think four or five dollars, and it was brand new. And it's attractive. I like the color green. It's a nice small folder so I can put it on display somewhere. But you can grab whatever you want. There's a Whitman, there's Dansko if you want to be really fancy. You know, if you can get a hold of one. And there's several others. Um, the only, Like I said, the only two rules are to have Use coins that you already have in your collection, nothing that you purchase, and coins that you'll be willing to leave in there. So, like, you can't take a, you know, a key date Morgan silver dollar and put it in there just for the challenge and, you know, you know, say this is my album. Because I would like to see what you can do with the best quality coins that you have on hand. Um, you can theme it if you want to, so you can go proof, you, you know, you can go toning, you can go to nicest, you can go to... The ugliest coins, you can go um, coins that have a hole, you can go a million different ways. I went with coins that basically are either the nicer coins that I have in my collection or toned coins because I absolutely love toned coins. And I, I actually had a, fo uh, not a folder, but a little plaque that had several in there that got some toning over the years. Plus I put together some other ones that were toned. Um, obviously some I didn't have tone, so I went with a nicer coin. It's hard to find tone clad coins. You know, it's, they can get some toning, but not like a silver coin. Pennies could take a pretty good tone, but I didn't have anything fantastic for that. And I went with basically the best coins I had. And my little tin actually at the end has a section for the birth year. So the year that I was born. So what I'm doing with that is I'm putting, I'm cracking open my United States typeset from 1972, the year I was born, and that's going to go in there. Uh, I would I would appreciate it if you do, if you take up this challenge that you link, uh, put a script in your description, link back to my video in your description, because I would love to see it. And if you could tag me, I would love to be able to see all the all the. People took the challenge up. It's not a hard challenge, but I think for uh, numismatic people, it would be a little easier because they would have a lot more of this on hand. Stackers would probably have the you know pretty much the silver on hand, but the buffaloes and some of the old cents and things like that, maybe not so much. And maybe not the bicentennial-type coins. Well, I'm going to get everything in here, and I'll be back and show you what it looks like. Okay, everything's in. Now, see if I can give you guys a better look at the coins. There's my cents. I went with a reprocessed uh, Steely because that's the nicest one I had. The other ones are all pretty much beat up and chewed up. And my nickels looking kind of nice. That's a decent toner on the, the V nickel, but, you know, not as nice as some of the other tone coins you're going to see. The, the, war, the Jefferson wartime nickel came out really toned. I don't have the best lighting, but it's a really nice coin. And I put a nice uh, 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 Jefferson nickel in there, plain Jefferson. That Barber Dimes, really nicely toned. The Merck's got a really dark toning to it. The Silver Rosie's a pretty nice looking coin, all in all. And the Clad's just a really nice example I had laying around. Silver Washington, Standing Liberty is beautifully toned. And this is all real toning because of an album it was, they were in. Some of these coins were in. The Barber's got some unique reddish and orange tones. And, and you got a Bicentennial, obviously. The Clad, the Clad Washington was one of the harder ones to find a decent example because I had to go through pocket change. And it's really hard to find a Clad Washington coin that's not um, a state coin or, or a Amer American Beautiful coin. But I did find a state coin, which is Pennsylvania, where I'm from. And then the half dollars 
I pulled from my uh, stack basically. Those are the nicest barber and walking liberty I had. I mean, I have nicer examples, but they are in my Dansko type set, my 7070, and my Benji and silver uh, Kennedy. Of course, I had the nicest. Uh, the nicest half dollar was the sil silver half dollar was the Kennedy because I have some really nice ones I picked up from a pawn shop actually. Um, then you have the nine uh, the forty percenter which was in that same folder. I mean a uh, little plaque I had got some nice toning. I went with a proof for the copper clad and the bicentennial. Just I have a few of them laying around so that went in there. The piece dollar has a nice nineteen twenty two with some toning. It was the nicest out of my stack because my really nice piece dollar is in my dance co and my 21 is going in a set when the 2021s come out. I don't have a Morgan because the only Morgan I have that's not in a slab, which I only have one slab as well, is dedicated to my set I'm putting together for the uh, 1921, 2021 set that I've been talking about on some of the channels that I've been visiting. And I didn't want to cheat and put it in here temporarily because that was one of my only two rules. Something has to stay in there. Then I thought, oh, I could throw it in there and then I could just go buy another one later for that set. But that would be the same as buying it for this type set. So I'm not going to do that. That's the only coin I couldn't get in here. Then we're going to check out the dollars. So the Ike was just a nice toner. I can't really get it. It's got some toning on it even though it's a clad. And, of course, the Bicentennial. And then my birth set is 1972, and I put a proof set in there. I broke it open and threw the proof set. And, because I was just I just had that on display anyway, so that's a, this is a better way to display it. So, that's basically my album. And I would love to see yours and see what you guys could put together. Sorry for the shoddy camera work, but... I'm um, not the greatest cameraman, and my uh, dedicated camera broke, so I'm using my phone again. So thanks for spending time with YouTube. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to know when it's coming down the pipe, hit that bell icon.